time for math. Um, so today we're going to need math page 237 and 238 out of your book. Um, if you want to have that ready before the lesson, I will try to get out the day before the materials that you need. Just remember not to work ahead. I know you guys already probably know a lot of this stuff, but just try to stay with me so that you don't train your brain to do something incorrectly and then, you know, now I'm lost, what do I do? So just try to stay with me. Um, usually, we would start out with our speed drill. Ugh, not right now. I will work on trying to get those to you guys so that we're, we're able to do those to kind of continue with our rhythm of our class. So with that being said, after speed drill, we're gonna pretend like we just did that, you had about four minutes to get your speed drill, three minutes, whatever it is, completed. We're gonna play around the world. How are we gonna do that? Well, I have Rachel, again, she's off camera, and I have randomly selected, please, and everybody's gonna get a turn to do everything, so it'll be fun, but Charlie, if you're out there, hey Charlie, and you are ready, um, we're going to just play a little around the world, just a little fun, and you all, all you guys play along trying to beat Rachel. I have chosen multiplication for Rachel, and um, we will, excuse me, we will uh, set the timer, we'll do about two minutes here, and we will um, see if, how many you can beat Rachel to. Now this may change from day to day. It may be Rachel, it may be Kathleen, it may be Mr. Upchurch, it may be me. I don't know, but we'll do our best and we'll get through this the best we can, okay? Until we can get back to our classroom and have ice cream, by the way. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna set my timer and make sure that I'm on here and we're gonna go for about uh, two minutes and you try to see if you can beat Rachel in these um, cards, okay? Can you guys see them? Don't cheat on that one. So Rachel already knows that's seven. Um, so just kind of give me a little bit to kind of play around with these angles so you guys can see the cards, okay? So here we go. Here we go, Rachel. Are you ready? You're trying to beat them. Here we go, Rachel. Next one. 25. Oh, I hope you beat Rachel on that one, 25. Next one, Rachel. Eight. Oh, good, eight. good Rachel, that one was eight. Next, 24. 24, Rachel knows her multiplication tables, yay. All right, let's keep going, Rachel, are you ready? 49. 49, Rachel's quick, yes she is. Oh, let's see if she can do the next one, ready? 56. 56, did you beat Rachel with that one? I hope you did, I hope you did. Ready, Rachel? 63. Ooh, 63, that was a big one, 63. Rachel, she is on fire here, let's keep going. 70. Yes, that one was easy. I hope you jumped up with that one. Harrison, hope you got that pencil going. Lucy, I know you're jumping ready for it, so let's keep rolling. Charlie, hope you're still out there. Here we go. 77. 77 is correct. Good job, Rachel. We've got about 45 seconds. Ready? 84. Oh, Rachel had to pause on that one. 84, yes. Maybe Rachel needs to practice some tables. Yes. Hope you beat Rachel on that one. 84 is correct. You should have seen her eyes. Her eyes got real big. Here we go. Ready? Next one. Zero. Zero. Good job, Ray. 56. 56. Let's keep rolling. 64. 64 is correct. 72. Oh, did you get her? Did you get her? I hope you did. She paused. 72 is correct. Next. 80. Yeah, that one was easy. Everybody jumped on that one real quick. 88. 88. 20. 20. Are you sure, Rachel? Okay. All right. We'll do one more. Rachel, one more. Here we go. Everybody's ready. 36. 36. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, um, hope you uh, were able to keep up with Rachel. We're going to beat her on some of them. So thank you for that, Rachel. Um, I'm going to put these to the side, lay that down real quick. So now we're going to move on in our review um, with our uh, special numbers. Remember in our equation solving, these are the key. Okay. So one week equals how many? Hey, Rachel, come back. One week equals how many days? Seven. Seven is correct. We'll do a couple of these. One year equals 12 months. Remember these special numbers when you are solving your equations. That is correct. 
So Rachel will send me a special numbers that you know. We're going to do a couple of these as for a review. Rachel, one year equals how many days? 365. That is correct. One leap year, which is what we're in now. 366 days. Correct. We had an extra day of life this year, yes. One year equals how many weeks, Rachel? About 52. About 52. And remember, when we're solving our equations, we don't write about, we just write the 52. Can't put numbers and words together, okay? One dozen equals how many things, Rachel? 12. Yes, Rachel, give me an example of something we can have in dozens. Eggs. Eggs, cupcakes, good things like that. Thank you, Rachel. Next one, one foot, how many inches? 12. 12 is correct. One yard equals how many feet? Three. Three feet in a yard, yes. One kilogram? 1,000 grams. 1,000 grams, very good. One day is how many hours? 24. Are we up all those hours, Rachel? No. no, no, we're not. We sleep some and are awake some and have school some. Here we go to the next one. One minute. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. One hour. 60 minutes. 60 minutes. One ton equals how many pounds? 2,000. 2,000. Had a ton of work today. You really had 2,000 pounds of work today? Maybe so. I don't know. Next, um, top number, Rachel? Numerator. Oh, yes. Bottom number is the? Denominator. Correct. Numerator and denominator. Almost stumped Rachel on that one. We'll do one more. One pound equals how many ounces, Rachel? Sixteen. Sixteen. Remember, you need to be sixteen to get that pound driver's license. So just remember those. We'll pick up with some more of those review tomorrow um, and uh, keep those special numbers fresh in our mind. Remember when you're doing your, thank you, Rachel. Remember when you're doing your math sheets, if you're stuck on a special number, remember that glossary in the back of your book that you are able to reference to get those numbers. Don't guess, okay? Don't guess, because we're not gonna be able to solve our equations correctly if we guess. So with that being said, let's look at our new concept for today. So if you look at your math sheet for today, remember to go ahead and put your name at the top just like we always do. Today is 03-24-20. So I'll give you a, sec a second to do that while I put up my chart for today. Okay, so I hope you have your name and today's date at the top of your page. Don't work ahead. Remember, stay with me. Try to stay with me. Let's look at the new concept for today. Now this is a new concept, however, it will not be um, something that we have not done already. Today we have um, four digit dividend. Oh wow, we get to add another number to our dividend. So what we're going to do is we're just going to repeat these steps, not once, not twice, not even three times, but four times today. So this should be fairly simple to you. What is the key to division? Your multiplication tables, that is correct. I tried to clean everything out of your desk. Hopefully your multiplication tables, you got those back. Um, but if you didn't, please, please rewrite those tables so that you can have them. There's no need to get through these and start guessing, okay? So we know the key to our division is our multiplication tables. Uh, so let's look at our um, new concept for today. So let's look at the box in the top. Four digit dividend. Continue the five steps of division until there are no more digits in the dividend to bring down. Ooh. When you are finished, check to see if you need a comma in the quotient. So it's gonna be four numbers, a thousandths place in our quotient, a big number, okay? So let's look at your um, problem there so we can, um, if you guys need this, let's see, I'm just gonna pop it like right here. So if you need it, those steps are there so that you can remember where we're at, okay? Um, my board's a little bit smaller, so you just have to kind of bear with me, okay? So let's look, 6,732 divided by five. 
Okay, so first thing I know we need to do is we need to grab our five table, okay? This is an easy one. Maybe you may not need it, but um, this should be a table that you're familiar with. So the first step is we grab our table. Second step is we isolate the first number and we look and it's a six. And yes, we can work with the six because six is larger than five. If six was not larger, then you could pop a zero there and go through that step that way, or you could move on and use the next number. So it's up to you. Okay, so let's look. Six divided by five, how many times can five go into six without going over? That is correct, one. We're on our second step, multiply. One times five equals five. We subtract. Six minus five is one. We compare. One is smaller than five, so I got close enough to my number without going over. Next step is we bring down, and we have 17, okay? 17 divided by five. We start all over again at step one. Just keep rolling. How close can we get without going over? Correct, three. Three times five would be 15. Then we subtract. Seven minus five equals two. If you want to put the zero for a placeholder, that's fine with me. Two is smaller than five, so we bring down the three. Okay, so now we have 23 divided by five. How close can we get on our five table without going over? Four. Four times five would be 20. Let's write small, I'm just gonna get all my steps in here. And we have three and then a zero. Now, this is where, Oh, sorry. This is where we would normally stop um, with our, sorry about that. This is where we would normally stop and say, okay, we have a three, three is smaller than five, and then we would have a remainder and we would check. Today, the new concept is this. Once we compare, we have another number to bring down. So we're just going to go one more step today. Some of you guys I've seen, you've had pro like problems this long on your paper, and it's just the concept over and over again. So right here, this is our new concept for today. We are going to go down to step five, and we're going to bring down. So let's go and let's bring down our two. Try to keep right here the 32. Try to keep your numbers smaller. I wouldn't want to try to work with a bunch of zeros over here. But if your eye likes the zeros and it helps you, that's fine. But let's just work with 32. So right here, we're going to start back over with step number one, which is to divide. So we're going to take 32 and divide by five. How close can we get without going over? Six, correct. So we have six, <clears throat> excuse me, six times five is 30. We subtract, two minus zero is two, three minus three is zero. If you want to bring the other zero down, that's fine. We've subtracted, so let's compare. <clears throat> I'm sorry, two is smaller than five, so we're good there, we got close enough. Um, point, if you had where you may would have had to have borrowed, if this was, you know, like uh, six minus eight, then you know you may have in this first step gone over. So just be careful with those numbers. Um, but for right now, two is smaller than five. So we're just gonna go up and pop up the remainder two. Now, second part of this today is you may have to go in right here and add your comma because we wanna make sure 1,346 remainder two. Feel pretty good about that? I hope so. Just bringing down that next number starting all over again.